Hi, and welcome to the Home Assistant How-To with Bearded Tinker. Today, we are going to install Home Assistant Community Store, or short HACS. We'll start in 10 seconds. So today we are going to install Home Assistant Community Store. What Community Store gives you its ability to install all the wonderful components that Community has developed for Home Assistant through a graphical user interface or through a web page or your Home Assistant. If you previously, for example, installed Monster Card or a simple media player or things like that, you would have to download from the GitHub that repository, uh, manually install it in the folder, add your configuration files, um, and do some bits and tweaks around Home Assistant by hand. So HACS uh, really gives you ability to install, uh, upgrade, and uh, remove components from Home Assistant that were custom built or uh, that are not entirely supported or not officially supported through Home Assistant. First thing we have to do in order to get HACS running is go to the GitHub page and download latest release. I will post the link down below. So it's really HACS-integration uh, uh, repository and we go to releases. For me, this will be HACS 0.16.3. This is the latest release as of today. So what I'll do uh, to simplify our installation and everything, I will right click this page, I will copy link address and we will go to our Synology. What we'll do in Synology, we'll go to a download station. This is download station. If you still haven't downloaded it, I don't know what you're doing, but it's very easy. You just go to Package Center, type in Download, and you will get Download Station. You just click Install. Okay. So now that we are in Download Station, we want to add a link. And we will choose subfolder for this. Let's put it, okay, Docker will be great. And let's paste the link we have here. So this is the URL we got from GitHub for the latest release. And we will press OK. It should be pretty fast to download. And it's done. Next thing what we have to do is we have to go to File Station. Let's right click on HACS. Let's press Extract and let's extract to HACS folder. Okay, now let's go inside of that folder. And let's see what we have here. Here are various files and configuration files for the HACS to work. What we have to do, we have to copy this folder. And I will cut paste it. Cut. And we have to paste it inside a custom component folder inside Home Assistant folder. So let's go to Home Assistant and let's check if we have or have not custom components folder. I have here, so I will go inside and I will just paste. Make sure that you have custom components folder. If you do not have custom components folder, you just press create, create folder and custom components and press OK. Of course, it will not work for me since I already have folder. Structure has to look like this. Home Assistant, Custom Components, HACS. Next thing what we have to do is we have to restart our Home Assistant. So we should go to Configuration, Server Control, Check Configuration and let's restart.
and our Home Assistant is up and running. Dismiss. We have now downloaded Home Assistant Community Store. Next thing, what we have to do in order to get it set up, we have to go to GitHub page and we have to create personal access token for HACS. It's pretty simple, but it also does mean that you already have to have GitHub account. Uh, of course, I will put a link to a URL where you have to go. Let's jump to GitHub. So this is the page. If you already used it, you will probably have more tokens than I do. If you haven't used it, uh, it will be empty. So let's go through how do you create new token. Let's press generate new token. Let's give it a, no a name. I will call it HACS-A. And the only thing left for us to do is we have to go to the bottom and press generate token. This is our new token, so let's copy it. And now we are ready for the final phase of the installation. And this is to create integration between this component and Home Assistant. Let's go back to Home Assistant. In Home Assistant, let's go to Configurator. There are two ways how you can do it. I will first show you how to do it old-fashioned way, and then I will also show you how to do it the easy or the new way. The only thing really we have to do is we have to scroll down to the bottom of the page. We have to type in HACS and add token. And here we paste what we copied from the GitHub token. And that's it. Our component is now configured. We can just press save. And this will be it. That's the old way. But let's for now remove this. And let's look at the new way on how you can do it. Let's save this. And now let's look at the other possible way of doing the integration. Uh, I myself prefer old way because I feel like I have more control or easy access to what I have but some people will find this new way much easier to work with. The second way you can install or add uh, HACS is, of course, you go to uh, Configuration, Integrations, Plus, let's find here Home Assistant Community Store, let's put here our API, that's the same one we copied from the GitHub page, uh, we will leave those two as is, and let's enable AppDemon, Python scripts, and themes. That way, we will be able to control not just regular cost, uh, custom components, but also AppDemon, Python scripts, and themes through the HACS. And let's press Submit. And that's it. Our HACS component is now created. Let's go to Community. And as you can see, we have here integrations. Those are the components that are already installed. Let's wait a bit for this background task to complete. This background task can take really long time because what it's doing, it's in the background checking uh, GitHub and HACS repository uh, to see what components are available, uh, both in the pure components or app daemon scripts or themes. So this can really take a long time because there are a lot of uh, community made components that are available through HACS. So let's jump in a store and see even if it's not finished, let's jump in the store and see what we have here. And as you can see, 
here are all the repositories AJC has found so far. But also here there are app daemon, apps and integrations. Those integrations are community made integrations. So for example, let's see what we can install. Let's see what this is. So this component checks the weather forecast for several days in advance and concludes whether it's worth washing the car now or not. I'm currently having a big problem with my car and dirt on it because we have infrastructure or utilities exchanging pipes in the street, so it's mud everywhere. So let's try and install this component. Okay, what we have to do, we will have to press install. And it says that it is now installed, but let's check the documentation. It says that we still have to edit inside the configuration YAML file. So let's open new window here. So this is this component. We are not interested in this. We have already installed. It says that we need to install. We have to download all blah, 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 blah. We have to restart Home Assistant. And we have to add this to our uh, configuration YAML or binary sensor YAML, depending on what you use. So let's copy this. Let's go back to our Synology. In Synology, let's go to Configurator. Config. And here, let's open binary sensor file. In binary sensor file, we can leave comment here, so it will be car wash component. And here we just paste the information from the uh, configuration nodes we've seen. Binary sensor here is extra, so let's remove it. And let's just adapt this to our setup, so I can type here weather home, and I think this will work. So let's save this. Let's go to configuration, let's restart. And our system is up and running, so we should be now able to uh, go to overview, go to weather, for example, and here I think we can add our binary sensor. Save. And as you can see at this point, we have binary sensor saying that car wash is off. Unfortunately, you would have to uh, tweak it a bit because the states are either on or off. On meaning that yes, you can wash the car. Off means that you don't need to wash your car. And more or less, this is it on how to install and configure your community uh, store or HACS. There are a couple of things you should note. Always read documentation for the component you are installing because some of the components also may require you to install the call for this component inside your Lovelace UI. Uh, how it, this is done is you have to go to the uh, three dots and press configure UI and you have to go to row configuration editor. And here this is the YAML file for your Lovelace interface. What those components require you is to add call for that component here up at the top. Here you would add code from the description or installation guide in HACS. So please note that if it requires you to insert something in your Lovelace UI, you do it this way inside row configuration editor inside configuration UI editor. Let's close this. No, we don't want to save it. Let's close this. And this is it for today's Home Assistant How-To with Braided Thinker. 
I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you will also love this HACS component because it's really great and it's much easier to browse it than to go and search on GitHub for specific integrations to see when there is update or there is no update and things like that. Thank you very much for watching this episode. If you still have any kind of a comment or a question, please leave it down in the comment section. If you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified on the future videos. And I will be seeing you in a couple of days. Thank you, bye bye and have fun!